Max Verstappen wins his eighth Grand Prix in a row and he joins Sebastian Vettel and Albert Ascari, I believe, for eight in a row. Vettel, of course, did do nine in 2013 and I think there is nothing stopping Max Verstappen from m matching it at least or completely smoking out the water. He could literally win every race until the end of the season because... Yes, I get it. We will have a race where he probably will have to take an engine penalty and start literally through the back. But he will win. No one's ever won from the pit lane before, but this guy would do it. Easily. Easy peasy, man. He would do it. Right? Turn one. What happens? Uh, Perez sits behind Leclerc. He sits up through Eau Rouge. Perez. 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 So, not a baby. He overtakes Leclerc uh, behind this. Piastri, and I think Carlos Sainz is right actually saying this after the race, he feels like the inexperience of Oscar Piastri at the front led to this crash, and I think it did. Like, I think Sainz can have a wee bit at fault for locking up and kind of like going more towards the inside, but Piastri is completely putting his car where, you know, three and the one do not go. Like, you've heard how many times you said that before, like, yeah, and it just didn't go. Him and Sainz, Piastri retires, uh, basically held everyone up, going up on Rouge, could have been a massive accident, there wasn't. Uh, Sainz just absolutely fell away throughout this race and eventually retired. Um, first half of this race was so much better than the second half. It really, really was. The McLaren of Norris was absolutely shocking in this race. I, I don't get, though, why McLaren set up so much for, like, a wet setup compared to, like, everyone else when... They already had a really good car based off the last couple of weekends. And you, this is a fucking flop, man. I really expect that McLaren to be quite easily the second fastest car here. Um, I would say Ferrari were the second fastest car by a decent... Well, I say decent margin. I think them and Mercedes were pretty close. But McLaren banking on wet conditions so much, man. Just did not really work out for them. Um, but this, like I said, the first half of this race was alright for what it was. You had Max fighting his way through. Overtook Le Hamilton and Leclerc. Um, then it rained for about 10 minutes, and you thought, right, this is where things could get interesting. But for stopping, overtakes Perez. He, the easiest overtake he did in this entire Grand Prix was on his teammate Perez, who's in an equal car. I am I, I, um, lost for words, right? The fastest lap between them, 1.4 seconds, and they both had the same strategy. What is actually going on with Sergio Perez? People saying he had a good rate. He finished 22 seconds behind for stopping. In 10 seconds in front of Leclerc. How is, how is that even mathematically possible, man? How is the guy... You could have you could have bet your life. See, if, see, as long as Max did not have a mechanical failure today, or something along the lines of that, there was no way he was losing this race. Perez needs to sort his act out. He won't, though. And the race was quite dead. Um, Aston Martin did a pretty good strategy with Alonso. Um, good to see Yuki Tsunoda getting a wee point. He deserved it today. Had a pretty good race. Uh, but yeah, eventually it did end for Staten, Perez, Leclerc, Hamilton, Alonso, Russell, Norris, Ocon, Stroll, and Shinoda. I think Norris actually did a decent job to finish seventh, considering the fact that his car was about three seconds a lap slower than the straight. But, you know, Max wins. What else is there really to say? I, Russell said it best post-race. He said if Red Bull didn't exist, you'd have like one of the most exciting championships ever. But guess what, guys? They do exist. So until next time, Fog Racing, sign out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we've got a month off the F1. All we can hope is, is every team behind gain about two seconds or else Max is going to win every race. But until then, peace.